guys, hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, it's me, the And here today's video, we will... Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Goy. In our today's video, we will talk about the mean, median, and mode. So this video is part of our series about basic statistics wherein these terms, mean, median, and mode, are under measures of central tendency. And to be specific, we will try to calculate the mean, median, and mode of a given and group data set. So without further ado, let's do this topic. So, meron ako ditong basic definition of mean or parang informal definition of mean. When I say mean, mean is the average of a given data set, whether it is group or ungrouped data. So, the formula in calculating the mean is simply mean is equal to the summation of x over n and this one is the symbol for the mean. Okay? So, when we say summation of x, all you need to do in calculating the mean is to add the numbers, again, add the numbers or add the elements of a given data set and divide it by n wherein n stands for the number of the elements in a given data set so later on we will elaborate how to use this given formula next is the median median is the middle value in the list of numbers so by the way before you calculate for the median or before you try to get the middle value uh, first, you need to arrange the number in ascending order or descending order. Pero kalimitan, they're using ascending order. And for the mode, mode is the value that occurs most often. So, later on, mag makikita nyo kung bakit ganito definition. So, I have your example number one, wherein the problem is that find the mean, median, and mode. So, we have here the given data set. 13, 18, 13, 14, 16, 14, 21, 13, and 13. Actually, these are examples of, or this given data set is an example of ungrouped data. Okay? So, we have 13, 18, 13, 14, 16, 14, 21, 13, 13. So, since we are asked for the median, uh, I will try to arrange first this data set in ascending order. So again, you can use descending order, pero ako, I, I will choose ascending order. Ibig sabihin nun, from least to greatest. So first, I will try to list down 13. So we have here 13, and another 13, another 13 and 13, two 13s and 13. Next is 14, followed by another 14, and then 16. This is for 16, so we still have 18 and 21. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. This is the arrangement in ascending order. So first, we will try to calculate for the mean. Let's try for the mean. Mean muna tayo. Mean or this one. Summation of x over n. So when we add this, we have 13 plus 13 plus 13 plus 13 plus 14. Can you see this one? Plus another 14 plus 16 plus 18 plus 21. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Add them all and then divide it by the number of elements, which is 9. Again, your n is equal to 9 because we have 9 elements in this given data set. So, adding this, you have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Pag inad mo sila, it will give you 135. So, divided by 9. And calculating this, your mean is equal to... 15. This is the correct answer or the value of mean in this given data set. So again, the process is that all you need to do is to add these numbers and then divide it by the, the, the number of elements in the given data set. So simplifying this one, your mean is equal to 15. Okay? As you can see, uh, 15 
is the correct answer. Now let's move on to the median. For the median of this given data set, going back to this simple definition, median is the middle value in the list of numbers. So before we start calculating the mean, I've tried to arrange the given data set in ascending order. So we can so we can easily identify which one is the mean and uh, which one is the uh, middle number. So if we have nine, again, we, if we have nine elements, the middle number is, is the fifth element. So first, second, third, fourth, and fifth. Ibig sabihin yan, the median is 14. Okay? The median is 14. Sir, paano nga po uli nakuha yung median na 14? First, we arrange we arrange the given data set in ascending order. And then, middle value of the given data set, that is your median. And since we have nine elements, remember how we have nine elements. If you have nine elements, the middle number is the fifth element. Again, the middle number is the fifth element of the nine numbers. So let's have the range one, first, second, third, fourth, and fifth. This is your fifth element. Therefore, the median is 14. Okay? So let's move on the, for the mode. Sir, how about the mode? Going back with our, with our simple definition for mode, mode is the value that occurs the most uh, occurs most often. Or parang in other words, so yung may pinakamaraming uh, elements. So let's say for example, ito, ito yung given data set natin. We have 13, 13, 1, 2, 3, 4. Four times lumabas si mode. Again, four times. Compared to the other number, 14, nag-occur lang ang 14 twice. Meaning, uh, the element or the value that occurs the most or occurs most often is 13. If that is the case, meaning your mode is equal to 13. So, again, in our first example, I showed you how to calculate for the mean, how to identify the median, and the mode of the given data set. In the next part of our video, I will give you another example wherein I will allow you to calculate for the mean, median, and mode. Now, for example number two, we have here find the mean, median, and mode of this given data set. Again, this one is an example. Now, for item number two, we are given the problem, find the mean, median, and mode of this given data set. Again, these are all examples of... Now, for item number two, we are given this problem, find the mean, median, and mode of 8, 9, 10, 10, 10, 11, 11, 11, 12, and 13. These are examples of, again, of ungrouped data. So, to calculate for the mean, again, let's write the formula mean or this symbol is equal to the summation of x over n. So as you can see, uh, that is the formula. So adding these numbers, we have here 8 plus 9 plus 10 plus 10 plus 10 plus 11 plus 11 plus 11, plus 12, plus 13, over your n is the number of elements. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So we have 10 elements. So n is equal to 10, so over 10. And if you add these numbers, this will give you the sum of how many? Okay, 100 5. Okay, 105. When you add 8 hanggang 13. So over 10. So calculating this one, your mean is simply equal to 10.5. This is the value of mean in example number 2. So how about the median? For the median of the given data set, 
as you can see, again, for the median of the given data set, as you can see, the numbers are arranged already from in ascending order, from least to greatest. And for this case, we have 10 elements, so it's difficult for us to locate the middle number. So basically, guys, again, if the number of elements is an even number, or what I mean is like 10, diba 10 siya? That is an even number of elements. So all we need to do is, since this one is already arranged, kunin natin yung two middle numbers. So since we have 10 elements, the two middle numbers are the fifth and the sixth element. Again, fifth and the sixth element. And what we will do is to add them. One, two, three, four, five. Ang fifth natin is 10. This is your fifth element. And this is your sixth element, which is 11. So add them. So 10 plus 11. And then divided by 2. So again, how... Paano tayo napunta sa 10 saka sa 11? We have 10 number of elements. Again, 10 number of elements. And the middle number of 10 elements is the 5th and the 6th element. And the 5th element is 10. And your 6th element is 11. Add them and then divide it by 2. This will give you 21 over 2. Meaning, the median is equal to 10.5. This is the correct answer for item or for the median. Now let's have the mode. For mode, for the mode, as you can see, uh, given the arrangement of this data set, yung 10 natin, it occurs three times. And for the 11, it occurs also three times. So sir, the is dun ano um occurs most often. So sir pa yun para silang tatlong beses papakita. So we will choose two modes. So we have 10 and 11. Ang tawag dito ay bimodal. Bimodal. Kapag dalawang dalawa yung mode mo, ang tawag dun ay bimodal. So I hope you learned something from this video on how to calculate the mean, median, and mode. And sana nakita niyo yung differences kung paano sila ginagamit. So if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe at hit na rin yung bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, I'm Teacher Gon. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye-bye!